Just wanted to give you a quick rundown on a uh, shoot we did recently. Uh, this was a six camera shoot um, of a staging of a musical in Hollywood and uh, we used the Panasonic UX90 cameras and uh, as you can see we have an array of iPads here for uh, camera control uh, mainly just you know for the setup uh, settings and such and then we have our multicamzilla for actual camera zoom and focus and pan tilt um, so you can see we have our six cameras set up I can uh, select which camera I want to put on the preview bus and I can also uh, then whenever whatever cameras on the preview bus I can uh, control the zoom and focus uh, it was a little tricky to do this while holding the camera with one hand and uh, holding the controller with the other so as you can see you can zoom in and out uh, remotely and uh, all the controls being done wireless the cameras are uh, connected via cable um, except for one handheld camera we had was wireless but uh, all the control is being done wirelessly so you don't have to run another cable to the cameras and uh, as you can see I can pan tilt and uh, I bumped the uh, take button there when I was flipping that around but uh, so as you can see we can uh, select the camera so we can switch from the controller um, and we can dissolve as well so you can do a cut or a dissolve and um, select any camera uh, the cameras are that one's in the back of the hall in the center I'm set off uh, set up kind of off to the left here and um, so you can see the uh, that was the zoom and uh, pan tilt as well if I can shift the uh, position here so now you can pan around so uh, you know one of the biggest issues I have when I do these shoots is just the cost of the you know having a whole crew so this kind of lets you uh, get away without having to have so many uh, so many people involved um, so as you can see if you zoom if you look at the iPad screen you can see that it's actually updating the information there so I really like this setup because these uh, these cameras can output uh, 1080i even if you're shooting 4k 2398 uh, you can see we just put the camera into record there and it reflects uh, on the iPad screen but we did that through Camzilla um, I like these cameras because you can uh, I, I'm a fan of the original ATEM television studio only because it uh, doesn't have those very loud fans uh, and it's just a nice stable box. Um, I don't love running it 1080i but um, these cameras can actually do the down conversion and cross conversion on the output of the camera. So uh, you can see there we have our uh, wireless router and uh, laptop and that's basically all you need that with uh, your multicamzilla transmitter and your controller and uh, you know you could do you know up to an eight camera shoot you know by yourself uh, we're just doing six cameras here uh, and we have one one that's being manually operated to be able to sort of follow action on stage very quickly and then we have another uh, handheld which is the camera three there which is not uh, turned on right now but all the uh, the other three are all all uh, or the other four I should say are all multi camzilla controlled and um, you can see it's just uh, quite easy to control them. So uh, the Panasonic control is something new that uh, we're just releasing soon. And uh, you can see here, sorry the lighting was a little dark, but uh, so there's two cameras up against the back wall there and there's one on the complete other side of the, uh, the auditorium I'm trying to zoom in on. If you can kind of see it uh, move when I control it there. But uh, you may, may or may not be able to see this, but uh, there it is, panning around. And that's all just uh, being wirelessly controlled there. You can see what it looks like on the screen. Um, some people had asked for a, a real world you know, demonstration of uh, Multicamzilla. Well, here you go. Here's a, uh, a 4K six camera shoot uh, using the new Panasonic UX90. Um, the 180 wasn't actually even released when we did this shoot, so I haven't tried that one yet, but it should be uh, similar, similar uh, 
some similar results. And uh, you can see a little card. I've got that one right in front of my station. You can see it's uh, moving around as we control it. The problem with any pan tilt system is once you zoom in, um, you know every action, every movement is magnified quite a bit. So, um, if you're planning on trying to follow, you know, someone with multicamzilla, you should position the camera pretty close to the uh, subject. That way, you're not zoomed in so far, and you'll get uh, smoother pans. It's not really designed for following the action. The idea is that you would frame a shot, take it, frame another shot. And take it. Um, if you're spending all your time trying to follow some around, you're not really doing any uh, any switching. So that was sort of not the uh, intended design. I suppose if you were just using one camera, you could uh, follow someone more quickly, but uh, not really the intention of the system originally. So anyway, so here's a uh, you know six iPads for camera setup, and then Multicamzilla for real time pan and tilt zoom and focus control. Uh, with the new 4K Panasonic cameras, the UX90, and I'm assuming the 180 would be uh, equally compatible um, since they're very similar. The DVX200 is also uh, the same format, and that one should work as well. Uh, drop us a line if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.